Hello everyone, my name is Eric. Thank you for subscribing. You're welcome to another episode. In this episode, we are going to discuss about climate smart agriculture, a climate change solution. What is climate smart agriculture? Climate smart agriculture is a novel approach to address indirect challenge of food security and climate change. Importance or objective of this climate smart agriculture, it is sustainable increasing agricultural productivity. It is also way of adapting and building resilience of agriculture and food security. At the same time, it reduces greenhouse gas emission from agriculture because of minimum soil disturbance. And this is how we do climate smart agriculture. In the row spacing here, you can see it is one meter. And the shape that we dug our hole here, you can see like 20 meter width and then and like 20 centimeter width and uh, we plant three se uh, three seeds in one hole. And uh, we leave a small gaps, like here, 15 centimeter from one hole to another, and uh, all the way to go. The interlow spacing, like one line to another, is one meter. And uh, the same, there is no tillage. And uh, in small hole here that we are digging, 20 centimeter here apart, and we leave a small gap of 15 centimeters. The length of the pit or the hole is uh, the length is 50 centimeters. And this is how we practice climate smart agriculture. The climate smart agriculture is well suitable for place where there is minimum amount of rainfall or precipitation. This Climate Smart Agriculture, we practice here in Tanzania. The region is called Dodoma and the village is Zanka. And the farm owner here is Kondoa Mission. So guys, if you want to learn Climate Smart Agriculture, in, or if you are in Tanzania, welcome to Zanka here in uh, Dodoma, where you can be able to learn. So this is how we dig our hole. So that you can see there is very minimum soil disturbance. In the interlow spacing, there is no tree. We dig a small hole where we are going to plant our seed. You can see from one hole to another, we leave a small gap like here is 15 centimeter. This is the spacing between one hole to another. And then we plant our seeds. Like you can see the length is 50 centimeter. So we can leave a small gap in the beginning where we are going to sow our seed. So first you leave a small gap almost like a five centimeter and then so you can see let me show you that here where in this hole we can put three seeding. So leave a put a small space here and then put first seed second and then the third one and then you cover with it manure when water accumulates the moisture will stay here for a very long time that's why this place in the place of dry land this is uh, climate smart agriculture is the way to go where you can increase agriculture productive and then uh, the way of adapting and building resilience of our agriculture and uh, food security and uh, this place we are going to plant two crops number one crop is maize and uh, then we are going to plant also sunflower. In this episode, I'm going to show step by step how we are going to plant the maize. And I will keep you posted to see the update. So we put the ropes or the string from one point of the farm to the another point where we want our, our layout or our end of our farm. And then we dig the hole and these are very expert. You see, Yes, you put the rope and then they will cut it great, like they will approximate the length of the hole, like this 50 centimeter. If you want to prove this, just come with your tape. You see wonders. This is the very expert. You will measure and you will find is 50 centimeter, the length of the hole and the depth down is 15 centimeter because we don't want to disturb too much the soil we want only the top soil which is very suitable for growing crops that's why 
that is how we are doing here so you can dig the hole this is the first step after you're doing your layout and then once you dig the hole not too deep shallow like 15 centimeter depths and then the second step it will be filling or finding the manure one acre approximate you can put 10 tons of manure you can find the trunk that they have capacity of carrying 10 tons of manure like this one it called 10 tons of manure where you can pour your manure and then make sure your manure this the place where you're getting they are well composed the composite which means there is no transmission of disease and the pest to your feed we calculate like one spade per one hole so make sure your spade is full if not full refill it again and if you want to measure you can put a ruler because this is 15 centimeter and then you put one spade and you can see the depths and also there is another rock way where you can facilitate your work you can count your spade and put in a basket like this one the capacity of this basket is 20 liter so in this 20 liter you can fill six hole so this is how they are doing and this is a very expert they can know they know how to calibrate and distribute equal amount of manure equally in six holes which is equal to six uh, six spade which means one hole per one full of spade of which is contained manure and this you can see you fill and then you go to the next one the next one until you finish six holes and if you are good in calibrating you can take any equipment or tools that you can use to cut manure and then put and uh, put into holes and uh, make your work easy after filling the next step is mixing the next step of mixing you mix the topsoil and uh, this manure well once you mix well after you mix well then you are going to sow your seed in this case we are going to sow the maize in in one hole as i said interlow spacing is one meter but the 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 length of the hole is 50 centimeter but we are going to put the, the spacing of the our maize is 17.5 centimeter so you can put 17.5 centimeter from one seed to another seed to another seed which is one hole we put three seeds this is how we are practicing so you can see this expert how they are doing so that also you can practice in your farm and this farm is located here in Kondoa, which is uh, you can find in Kondoa is in the Dodoma region, the capital city of Tanzania. So if you want to learn, you can visit here Kondoa Mission. You can learn this practice and you can see results. If you are far, don't worry. I will keep posted and we can see what you are going to achieve with this climate smart agriculture. So guys, this is how we found that. Climate Smart Agriculture is the novel approach where it can address most common challenge. Challenge of food security and the same time challenge of Climate Smart Agriculture. Climate Smart Agriculture is a climate change solution. This mark end of my video. I hope you find the value in this episode. Thank you for visiting our channel and for watching our videos and providing feedback and a comment. It will really help us to produce better content and help to, to save you better and also produce more agriculture video. Thank you so much. See you in another episode. Bye.